Hi, Will for Sound on Sound on the Antelope Audio booth with Marcel, who's going to show us the brand new Goliath HD audio interface. Marcel, what, what's going on with the Goliath? It looks huge. <laughs> you know, the last Goliath was about a year ago, and I'm very excited about this Goliath as well. They're both going to coexist. We're not getting rid of the other one. This is going to cost quite a bit more, honestly, than the, than the current one. So we're adjusting that pricing. We'll be announcing that specifically. I can't tell you quite yet, but it's going to be a, uh, it's going to be enough more that I don't think anyone's going to get. It's not, we're still going to be selling the the current Orion. I mean, the Goliath. Excuse me, losing losing track of our own products here. Um, the Goliath HD has brand new A to D and D to A technology. So you get those 124 dBs that I mentioned on our new Orion Studio 2017 edition. That's dynamic range for yes. 124 dBs. The 124. But then you get excellent uh, brand new ESS chips on the D to A as well. And uh, the uh, monitor outs go up to 132 dBs on the playback of those monitor outs because we do a single chip. We do a single chip for each side and we do noise averaging to raise that spec even higher. And this thing is off the charts in, in its measurements. So the Sonics are going to be exceptional. We've added more outputs. This has a full 32 in and out now. So that's another update. We've added a USB 3 to this unit. So you get Thunderbolt, you get USB 3, and we've added two digi ports. So now Pro Tools users can connect this for up to 64 channels of Pro Tools, or 128 channels over Thunderbolt or USB. So this is a really powerful unit. And then we can add even more effects to it so that you can use those streams, either digitally, analog, a combination of those, or tracking with effects, or even using the effects in the mix as well. Right, okay, well that's a very comprehensive rundown. Um, what, what, what have you got here on the um, on the display? What are you able to access through this? The touch panel is really convenient for different things, pulling up presets, or t I like it for gain adjustments, even though you have these gains uh, right here. So I can, it just gives me a visual representation of where I'm working with my various uh, inputs. Of course you have, uh, they're, they're both push and turn knobs with lighted indicators. So for the 16 mic pre's, and keep in mind, all of our, you know, our in mic pre type interfaces, the Orion Studio, the Goliath HD, the Zentour, all have apps over iOS or Android or Mac or PC on the, on the same local area network as your main machine. So these can be controlled. They can also be used uh, in duplicates, you can use two Goliaths on one system. We have serial number ch uh, choose uh, bo uh, selector box essentially on the upper right of the control panel, so you can use and control multiple units in a in a situation as well. So it's it's quite expandable and scalable as well. Okay, great. And how much will the Goliath HD cost then, and when will it be available? I think six to seven thousand. We don't have a specific range, but think in that range. Um, Euros. That's kind of a that's a that's a that's a that's a spoiler alert there, but bit, bit, but dollars or euros runs close to about, about the same. Okay. But it's going to be in that range, a little bit higher than the regular Goliath now, or a bit higher. And available when do we think? Uh, summer. You know, we're looking at June, July time frame. But you know, there's no need to wait. You know, if the if the Orion Studio, this is available in mid-May, and of course we're shipping our new Orion 32 HD, which has a lot of the same technology. There's one more very cool thing I want to talk about that differentiates the HD use for Pro Tools in both the Goliath HD and the Orion 32 HD, which is we have delay compensation on any of those HD ports. That means you can record the analog, put it in auto mode, and it will be sample accurate in the time timeline. You can also adjust those MADI or digital inputs as well and then change those samples. You'll just do a quick loop back and measure your converters because we don't know the delay of your, the converters you might be using over ADAT or MADI, but you can make those sample accurate as well and you can't even do that with, uh, with Pro Tools have its own inter interfaces right now. So it's a real coup for the hardware capabilities of this unit. And now we're adding trims. So you're going to get 0.1 dB real-time FPGA trims with no sonic artifacts. Very convenient. Studios are already loving this. They're waiting for the update because they don't have to crawl back behind the unit every time they want to do the trims. Sure. And with the traditional HD interfaces, you had an A and a B trim. With our session presets, you have infinite trims that you can save. So no matter what your workflow is, you're going to be able to adjust those trim levels as well. Well, well great. Thanks very much then. Thanks, Marcel. Will. Thanks. Thanks, Sound of Sound.